Representatives from the Coalition of Physicians Unions on Medical and Civil Rights inspected the conditions in terms of nutrition of children in Koswagava, Suryavava, in Hambantota today. <laughs> The following views were expressed after the inspection. Looking at the nutritional charts, we can see that every child is in the danger zone. We meet children who are in risky conditions. We observed conditions of children moving from normal to levels of serious malnutrition within six months. The morning meeting is not conducted in some schools. That is because many of the children who take part in the meeting faint. As a result, schools have stopped conducting the meeting. Several mothers expressed these views thereafter. I'm pregnant. I'm currently suffering from iron deficiency. They tell us to eat at least fish or eggs. Given the economic condition in the country, we can't afford that. The income we earn from hired work is not sufficient to purchase fish. For households in this division with three to four children who are underweight, a single egg won't suffice. When we make a tomato curry, the children ask us for dried fish or sprats. We are helpless when they make such pleas. <laughs> Convening a media briefing in Colombo, the National Organization of Scholars expressed the following views regarding the state of children's nutrition in Sri Lanka. The public is facing issues when it comes to purchasing food. Grain production has dropped by 32.3%. Tea production has reduced by 19.7%. Paddy production has dropped by 15.6%. Fisheries harvests have dropped. 15.3%, animal produce by 13.6% and vegetable production by 13.2%. This will directly affect the nutritional conditions of children. Owing to the current economic condition, people are compelled to have one meal a day.